Hello and welcome to Quick Shot for February. That's what you're seeing on the screen now. Who will conquer your console? Isn't conquer is spelled right this time because we did spell check or cough cough. But I'm gonna be seeds. I'm gonna be your caster for this game. And as you can see on the right hand side, we do have the chat coming up. As you see right now, we got a sad face because we we're talking about some things that happened off camera. So if you want to check that stuff out and you're in the YouTube odds, make sure you tune in whenever we do these broadcasts at twitch.tv slash acids. If <laughs> no, I did not get crotch grabbed, just to make sure that that's there. But in the meantime, let's get rid of that. <laughs> Twitch chat, everyone. Number one priority is to find out if you've been crotch grabbed. So, looking at it, we do ourselves. Our lobbies are coming up, which I actually forgot to do something. So, so we have that coming through. Its score is currently 0-0 zero, because zero, this is going to be the first game of the series. We have Aurora Symphony coming in on Monster. So, let's give you guys a little bit of details on who Aurora Symphony is. He is basically the King Kraken of them all. And he came through, and he's been the number one for a long time just because of how long he's been playing the game. Going in, though, we do actually see the lineups coming through. The score is 0-0. We got ourselves Aurora Symphony. We have LSL versus DDs. Aurora Symphony's playing Monster for DDs currently. We have Red done, Fukushima Miste, Superman, and Rudy coming through. Going in, we do see everything's going to be done. He is building up his Evolve Meter. Save one build. There's going to be a one Lightning, one Banshee, one Vortex. We've seen him use all these abilities so far, so it was a pretty safe assumption that he has of one point in each ability. Looking at it, though. I know I'm not supposed to show that yet. Shh, shh. No one saw that. No one. Shh. It's okay. It's okay. Going forward, though, we do actually see that we have ourselves... Aurora 70 building up his Evolve Meter is actually Evolve ready as he went immediately to the west. He's going to rush his Evolve, which means that Rudy's going to be in a great position in order to lock this down. They're going to call it out. They're going to hear it right now. There you go. Aurora Symphony is now stage two as Rudy's going in, going to get that tracking dart in, and he's going to launch it in. There comes the tracking dart. Looks like they're going to be going for a tight dome. He's just trying to let, let it go in. They're going to see him going in right there. He's just launching in. There goes the connection. However, lightning strikes coming in. One point lightning, two point banshee, two point aftershock, and a one point vortex. Aurora Symphony is trying to get himself a lockdown, trying to head up on the north side, trying to see if he can get right past Rudy. Rudy, however, is, however, in position. He's at 55 meters. Is he able to get it? He's 52, 47, 48. Oh man, but the evolve has occurred, which means we can discuss it. It's going to be movement speed on Rudy, damage, damage, sorry, feeding speed on Aurora, and we see damage in output increased by Redon, and he's not able to get the dome, which means Aurora 70 is able to push his way through, and Rudy, however, did get juke there a little bit. With that movement speed, he did try and lock it in. However, he wasn't quite able to. We have an 80-meter Aurora Symphony getting some quick feed on, getting to get some grab, some little snacks, pushing it through. Rudy's going in for the trying to get it. Right now is a battle of positioning as they're trying to see what they can grab. Rudy, however, is launching out that tracking dart, trying to get a good measurement of distance, trying to get it picked up. Got another four meets right here, so Aurora 70 is going to be full armor going into the next dome. Going in right there. We got another two mates. He's going to be building up towards stage three. He'll be having it in just a moment. Not quite able to get it. And here comes the engagement. Going in. Here comes the dome. Drops it on the aftershock. Does connect with a Banshee Mine chasing him. And that's going to pop. And down goes Rudy. He's going to be quickly picked off. Dome is now gone and clear because his teammates were super far behind him. A little bit overextended. But we'll have to see what happens. We get ourselves a plan actually coming in, which means they need to interrupt him. Are they going to be able to get it? Yes, he does get the eat off, which means Fuku cannot revive him. And he's in the dropship for a long time. Lightning Strike coming in does connect on Fuku. Fuku's going to be getting a drop aftershock coming in, but doesn't connect. Does hit Superman, however. And Fuku's going to get heavy juggled into a cloaked. Where Superman did actually pop his cloak for Fuku in order to make sure he was able to get away. Fuku is on the run and not quite able to get himself away. Here comes the Lightning Strike going to come in and does actually pounce and connects. On Fuku, which means a war 70s is just raining terror from the skies, showing the power of Kraken as it has been released from the band system. And here comes the Oro going to drop in, does actually connect, and here comes the heavy Vortex combo, does actually hit both Super and Redden, and down he goes, which means the monster wins games one, and down he goes with a click fi quick finish, coming out of war 70, bringing in the terror of the skies, shocking it down and raining the pain down on this Hunter team, is actually does close it with a quick 322 match going against LSL, who did a great job in the previous matches and did a great job this game, but unable to tame the wild monster that is Aurora Symphony. But if you look at it right now, that is the end of this match, which means it's time to say goodbye for this round, and we go into the next round. And that does mean that in the next round, Kraken will be unavailable to continue in the series, so they will not be able to play Kraken in the next round or any matches further for Dildozers. So we'll have to see what's going on. In the meantime, that's it. That's all for this round. I want to give a quick shout-out to the Quick Shot supporters, a.k.a. Gavin Winter, Bader91, Q Jr., David Q Jr., which is also known as Q Jr., and Kanu91, as you see on the screen. These are people that made it possible. If you are curious about the Patreon, it is in the description below for those of you on the YouTube. And for those of you that are watching live, they will be posted in chat. That way you guys can have that information. So in the meantime, guys, we'll be back in a bit with the next match. So thank you very much, guys, for chilling in. 
We'll see you guys soon in just a minute as we do that quick fade and fade out for the sake of anything that you guys know and well love. So if you're in the YouTube playlist, go to the next one. If you're watching live, stay tuned.